This is a Crate B150M base amp uh, solid state that somebody gave me to fix. It would have been out on a porch for, uh, I don't know, maybe a year. Uh, didn't work. There's the, uh, the shell of it over here. So uh, I'll probably have maybe six hours of time into this thing. It's really just kind of a project to figure out how uh, solid state amps work a little bit better than I than I know. Um, so I I cracked this thing open. Um, let me explain. Let me back up a little bit. So this is the power board that I left in place. Uh, the two large capacitors fuse down here so this is um this is the preamp board and this is the this is the effects board right here that so the effects board I just took from its position up here pulled it down I don't have, I, had, I don't have it grounded yet I haven't messed with that the preamp board, I do have the main lug. You can see it's got the um, heat paste. I've took that down and I've grounded it. So a lot of these input jacks, they had like wasps living in them and everything. So when I opened it up looking for obvious uh, signs, the fuse here was blown in both these capacitors were completely uh, bulged out the top. So I replaced those. You can see I left the leads very long and uh, replaced the fuse. Now I've blown a couple of them since, but uh, I was able to find a schematic for this um, amp, I don't, either through Crate's website or another. But there's, there's two, at the end of the manual, there's two good PDFs. There's the PDF for the uh, like power board and preamp, and then there's the PDF for the, uh, it's actually upside down right now, for the uh, effects loop and all the operational amplifiers. So this one was a little easier for me to follow because it's just the, um, you know, it's just chasing power around. The other one's chasing signal around with a oscilloscope, a little bit more difficult. Um, so on chasing the power around, you have the 110 AC coming in here. Uh, this is the diode bridge up here to turn it into DC. So what it's turning into DC, it's uh, up, it's negative 50 volts and 50 volts, or a negative four. I'm sorry, 45 and 45. So about 90 volts difference. So these two wires are coming down here into the preamp board. So from here, negative 45, 45, and then whatever effects, pro you know, whatever processing occurs, you have voltage coming out here. You have negative 45, 45, and then there's a signal and a ground wire. I think the signal is yellow and the green is ground that come into the effects loop board through this harness here and then you've got all the all the pots uh, this is <coughs> these are the inputs here and these are actually the outputs here so your signal is gonna uh, come in here out that should be your output of your signal coming in here and going to these jacks um, so a little bit of troubleshooting just trying to get the thing working it will amplify a little bit after I just did the caps and I did the uh, fuse but there was still something going on I had it hooked up to a um, to an old Marshall back there just going straight on the output of these jacks and um, because I don't, I don't have a bass, I don't have a bass speaker, but I was, I was just hooking up the inputs and outputs, and it, it was working a little bit. Um, 
but none of the this board was not functioning none of the uh so and when i tapped it when i went like that it would cut the signal in and out so when i tapped it i kind of figured that this might have, have be shorting against something so i went up I, I i took this board down just recently and i saw i looked at the top of it and it looked i mean what jumps out at you when you look at that so I got everything energized. The yellow is the ground wire. I got a plug to the CDN of this Marshall over here. It appears to be working. Which one was the master, the third one? Master works.